What's up my little cat travelers and welcome back to another episode of uh, another Eden side story. So today guys, today, today, big news, big news, we are doing Pizzica today guys. Um, because she's super powerful and I kind of need her for my void weapon. And um, I just want to use her, she's so adorable, twirling up there and spinning around. So yeah, let's uh, let's start our quest guys, let's start our quest. Um, yeah, so hopefully you guys... A good week. Um, I'm recording this two days prior to the big announcement. We are getting December 4th, which um, Cuff Cuff Chrono Cross crossover, according to rumors. And I'm super excited, guys, for that. But before, guys, we're going to do some side quests today, guys. So let's start it up. Let's start up. There you go. Someone to lean on. Pizzica's quest. The siren Pizzica seems to like singing and Aldo overheard her humming. Suddenly someone hear the singing and a new story begins. Alright guys, let's see what she's all about. Her skills are so freaking strong right now anyway. Anyway. Hmm, I know that voice. Seems a little bit loud. <laughs> oh, Aldo! So lovely to see you! I thought uh, that was your voice I heard. Am I interrupting? Oh, was I singing? Yeah, what a lovely song. Oh no, I'm so embarrassed. I didn't think anyone would hear me. I'm, I'm so sorry? But you sound really happy. Did something good happen? It's just... This land is so nice and warm, even without crimson coral. It's such a lovely feeling. Oh right, the certain village is on top of an iceberg, yeah? That's right, it's so just looking at this view. Makes me feel like makes me feel as I could melt under the warm sun. Ha ha ha, I see. Says the woman, like says the girl who has like the biggest house in the village. But you know, who am I to complain? But of course! I also love the North Seas, huddling up with everyone, warming each other up. Fair enough. I'm glad uh, you like this region as much as you do. If you need some uh, driftwood, I'm your guy. Wink, wink. Anyway, it's uh, really lovely. It was a really, really, it really was a lovely song. If it's all right with you, I'd love to hear it more. You can't. Huh? You can't listen to her song. That sounds like a child's voice. Oh my god, the child has been old. Get away from that monster. Her song, it's a curse. Yeah, that little boy um, uh, has the voice of a uh, manga protagonist, so. Hey, wait. <laughs> a curse. He must have fallen prey to some rumors. Siren songs are often bat mouthed in the human world. Oh, so that's the boy. Uh... Has there any idea about your song? It would be wonderful if it was as, as simple as that, but it seems so serious, maybe there was more to it. Actually, Aldo, I'm a little worried about him. Could we go and check it? Check on him? Since we're here, we might as well clear up this misunderstanding about the siren. He ran off towards Actel. Let's go after him. All right, so typical, typical quest about Siren Song, guys. Nothing out of the um, the um, we're trying to uh, remember the expression in English. Uh, nothing out of the um, the road there. The um, anyway, seems pretty generic story so far, but we'll see. Maybe there's a twist in it. Boom. <clears throat> All right. There he is. There's a the boy. Pizzica? He was he was scared of my song before. If I go see him, it will only make him more scared. All right. Right, 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 right. Could you go and talk to him? I'll watch from over here. All right. I'll go. Thanks, Pizzica. See you later. Hey, you're that kid from before, right? The one who called out to me? 
Mister, are you all right? Uh, why would I not be? You heard her song, aren't you cursed now? I'm totally fine, I'm not cursed or anything. See, nothing's out of the ordinary there. Not that I can see, but do you feel the urge to jump into the sea, or do you hear Siren calling you? That's not what Pizza songs does. No, her song just makes you super powerful and makes the enemy super weak. Is that her name? How do you know her name? Aren't you your heart you friends with that thing? Or is she controlling you with her song? Why are you jumping to this conclusion, bro? Why do, did you disturb why did, did you distress Siren so much? It's just a rumor that her songs are cursed. It's not a rumor, see? My dad. He was taken by the siren. What? Huh. What was that noise? Wait. It's it's you. I'm I'm sorry, hi. You came to take me, didn't you? Just like you took my dad. Would you mind telling me what happened to your father? Don't play dumb now, you already know. Tragic backstory. That day, my dab ships went out to the sea and didn't come back again. I waited day after day watching the sea from dawn till dusk. After waiting a month, the only thing to wash the shore was a scrap of wood. But I knew what it was right away. It was a deck for my dad's ship. Oh no! Maybe your dad just, you know, his ship sank, who knows? There was no way there was a storm, and no way a ship sunk on its own. So someone would have sunk it. And you siren sing ships with your song, don't you? You lure sailor into the sea, don't you? I read that book. I read that in a book. I mean, maybe your dad just pirates? I know you took him with you. My dad's trapped at the bottom of the sea just waiting for me to rescue him, isn't he? Oh, I mean, the bottom of the sea, that would make him drown, but you know. Aldo. Give me back my dad. Why'd you take him? Me and mom have been waiting for him to come back. Nothing to say, huh? Then I'll have to get him back myself. Huh? Uh, Pizzica, can we just leave him, like, the thing like this? I'm sure whatever water fate his father met was not your fault or the siren. But anyway, you slice it, his father... It's fine, Aldo. If we're being honest, that boy's father isn't coming back. But finding someone to blame must be his only way of coping. Pizzica. Oh dear, I can't find him anywhere. Huh? Excuse me, have you seen my son? Your son? Yes, he just ran away from home. He ran away? Why would he do that? I think it has something to do with my husband's shipwreck. <gasps> it's, it's, it's the boy's mother. <gasps> when my husband never came back, my son spent every day looking out of the sea. Then he found the wreck from my husband's ship on the beach. He shut himself in room reading books after that. Oh, it means he's reading books. Then today, when I came home after doing some shopping, he disappeared. He packed up his thing. I think he's been on going far away. What do I do? There's no need to panic. I'm pretty sure he hasn't gone far. You are? Yes, we came acro across a boy saying that the same thing just now. He went that way. Searched anywhere. He could have gone. We searched the area too. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm sorry, Aldo. What is it? I decided we look for him all of my own without even asking you first, but I can just leave him. Eh, what are you talking about? There's no need to worry. If you haven't just said anything, would have offered to look for him anyway. Oh, Aldo. Thank you. I'm so glad I'm friend with someone as, you, as kind as you. 
If I weren't in such a hurry right now, I'd give your head such a stroking. Phrasing. Well, I appreciate the thought. But where should we look for him? Hmm. Come to think of it, you said something interesting before. And what was that? When he was talking about his father, he says, I'll never, I'll have to get him back myself. Assuming to him, referring to his father, then. <gasps> he wants to go out to the sea. There's a harbor near, nearby. Hurry up. Let's go and check it out. All right. Let's go, uh, Miss. Let's go grab that little boy. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, wow. What a zone that a lot of people never use. All right. Let's go. Ah, there you go. <laughs> I wish I could do a, a Scott voice here, but I can't. But I told you, you can't borrow it. Oh, is that? Don't be like that. Just let me borrow it. I only need it for a bit. No way. Who in your right mind would trust a boat to a scrawny little kid like you? But I'm the son of a sailor. I know how to use it. No, 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 no. Try somewhere else. There you are, we're looking for you. You too. You said before that you were going to get your father back yourself. Were you planning to use that boat to look for him? Yeah. Since you won't tell me anything, I'll figure I'll look for him by myself. Don't be so reckless, you can't look for your father all on your own. Don't you know how big the sea is? You'll be putting your own life at risk. Then, what am I meant to do? You think I'm just going to abandon my dad? He could be waiting for me to rescue him. Everyone gave up on him, so I got to be the one to find him. Mizuka, I think we should tell him that his father isn't coming back. Aldo. This isn't just hard on you and the other signs now. It's hard on him too. He can't live like this, refusing to give up on his father, who clearly is gone. You're right. Then I'll... Then I'll... Forgive me, Aldo. I'm going to do this on my own way. Pizzica? Listen, kid. How does this sound? Why don't I search for your father instead? What? You're gonna look for my father? Yes, I'm a siren, so I'll be able to search on the seabed. It's a much more re reliable method than searching on your boat. What do you think? But... What if you're a friend with those sirens who took my dad? If I can't keep an eye on you, you're not going. Oh, so you're coming with me to the bottom of the sea? Can I, can I really do that? Hmm... I think the Dragon Palace Sea Turtle can transport some people using magic bubbles. If we use the magic, we should be able to walk in the sea for a short while. Only if you want to come, of course. Okay, I'm coming with you. Because I don't trust you. But... Yes. Why are you doing, why are you doing this all for me? When you know I have my doubts about you. Hey, 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 don't worry about it. I want to put those doubts of yours to rest in. You may not believe me, but I'm really worried about you. Hmm. Aldo, do you, do you think we can summon a Dragon Palace Sea Turtle from the Kira's Beach? Yeah, I imagine so. I mean, they're everywhere. But more importantly, do you really think you, you're going to find his father? I don't know. But I want to do whatever I can for him. Pizzica. Alright, let's go to Kira's Beach then. Thank you, Aldo. Oh, wait a moment, will you?
What? What was that all about? I, I asked the boatman to tell the boy's mother that we found her son. Should she come here? She must be at her wit's end trying to find him. Poor thing. You. I know you're just looking all sweet to try to get me off my guard, but that's not gonna happen. Hey, 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 I know. Let's go to Kira's Beach. All right. All right, so here's here's a real question, guys. Before before we do this, are are they gonna make? All right, so I'm gonna go to Kira's Beach. Um, are they gonna actually make the father dead, or is it gonna be a lot at the bottom of this? Because if, if the father is really dead, that's gonna be like a twist, which I appreciate, like a older theme, like a grown up, you know, quest. Because if he's at, if he's alive at the bottom of the sea, I'm like, all right, like it doesn't create any tension. But if he's dead, that'd be kind of like a little bit like darker, but cooler on the grand scheme of thing. I'm sure I've seen the turtle around here before. Oh, look, Aldo. Oh, there he is. Hey, hey, what a good timing. Let's go ask him. Excuse me, Mr. Turtle. Would you be able to take someone to the seabed? Oh, oh, oh not just I'm proud of my friend. Don't mean any old person can ride it. I'm a respect, respected turtle in a dragon palace. Unless you got me approval. Wait, you're Sheila's. Where? Why did you say it before? Ain't no problem. It ain't all over for her. <laughs> Miss. But why are you asking me? You could have just used that gorgeous fin of yours and get to the sea bed in a blink of an eye. What? Huh? It's not me I want you to take. It's the boys right there. What? This old peep squeak. Why even bother? What? Oh, well, if there was a way you want, pretty sure, Missy, I ain't gonna turn you down. So let's get going, y'all in tight. No. Oh. It's still, sh like, I'm still shocked how beautiful the backgrounds are. They're not getting enough love. Well, I never knew this kind of place existed under the sea. Hee hee hee, you never see this from the boat, right? No, I'm so surprised. So this is how you drag human into the sea. So that's what you're thinking? Oh, cruel. I still don't trust you. I mean, you are. I know, I'm a siren. But you let me do all that, I, all that I can to find your father, won't you? First, let's search nearby. Okay. It doesn't, it doesn't look like he's around here. Oh. It's okay, this is a vast place after all. I'll search a little more. I've searched as far as I can go on the western sea. Judging from where the ship was going, as well as the tidal current, I thought it would have drifted any further than that. Don't worry. We still have the, the east, the north, and the south to go. If I read the ocean current, I'll take you take me right there. Wait. Yes? Um It's nothing. Don't go getting washed away, okay? Hee <laughs> hee. Thank you for worrying. I like the fact that Elder just like standing there looking like a brick.
He wasn't there either, huh? I'm sorry. I'll just have to be more thorough. Sure looks getting harder and harder to do that, right? It's been quite a while since we started looking for him. It's already night. <gasps> Is it already? I'm sorry, I didn't realize. It won't be safe for you and the sea when it's dark. You should go back to your mom's for today. Aldo will take you. Aldo will take you. I will? What are you going to do? I'll keep searching for a while longer. There must be somewhere I haven't looked yet. It's fine. You don't have to do that. Huh? You've worn yourself out already. Why would you push yourself so hard just to find my dad? It's got nothing to do with you. That's not true. I have an important duty to clear your suspicion of sirens like me. Dan could you just tell me that. I'm talking nonsense. You could just tell me that my dad's not coming back. Like all the other adults did. That's so sad. Huh. But you see, you be you believe you so you'll your fa you'll believe you see your father again, and I want to believe you. Why? It must be incredibly difficult when no one else believes you to be the only one not losing hope. I thought if I at least could believe what you believe, the hope would you have hope. You wouldn't be alone. Mm. So that's why you've been doing this. He he he. I can keep going. I'm confident of my stamina. You can't depend on me. So let me be your ally. Really? What was that? What a lot of commotion. I think some huge enemy is approaching. Aldo, get this child to safety. Oh, a squid. That's... That's not another big monster. I think it came cause to cause trouble. Ugh. It's okay. I'm going to protect you. Let's do this. I can take these things on. Ba -da -ba -ba. I'll show you the way of the ninja. And it's dead. <laughs> like I just did like almost half a million damage on a enemy with like 100 HP. So love it. Mm, pew. We did it. Are you okay? Are you not hurt? I I'm okay. We may have gotten rid of them of that monster, but it's still not safe for you here. There could be others. I think it's best for you to return to the surface with Aldo. I'll just be a little. You can't stop looking for him now. Huh? Oh. I knew it. This is my dad's flask. Then your father. That monster might have gotten him. Oh dear. While you were fighting, I saw a ship fragments stuck up to the monster. There's no way I saw it wrong. That was my dad's ship, I'm sure of it. Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't know what to say. It's fine. To be honest, I knew in my heart that my dad wasn't coming back. But I thought if I gave up, everyone would forget about him. And that made me dig my heels even more. I guess I was just taking my anger out of the siren. I wish I could blame somebody but you. It's fine. Don't worry about me. Your feelings are much more important right now. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> oh, wow. That's uh, that's kind of sad. I didn't like they went there, which is great, which is which is great.
You've been holding that in all this time? You're not having difficult breathing, are you? I wait however long until you feel calmer. No, I should go back. I feel much better. Do you mind taking me back to Actoil? Are you really okay now? It's not like I can make you wait forever. And I do feel a little calmer thanks to you, miss. My sadness hasn't gone away, but I feel weird. Like I've been wrapped in something warm. It's causing you stayed with me till I was all cried out. I'm okay now. So will you take me back to my mom? Sure, I mean, let's go back. Thank you, Aldo, for your being the reason reasonable one. You did nothing of importance into that quiz. You're the best, Aldo. You are the best. All right, let's go uh, take that little kid to his mom and complete part one. Mom, I'm sorry I'm late. Oh, I'm so glad you're safe. Yeah, the mom's changed voice. Bite me. I heard from the boatman that you accompany my boy to the sea. Thank you so much for putting up with them. It's fine, but... Mom, I was looking for dad all this time. But we could have find him. I don't think he's coming back. I'm going to look after you from now on, Mom. I may not be much of a substitute for Dad, but I'll make sure you're never alone again. Hey, hey. Oh, you're so mature all of a sudden. I'm sorry, I never realized how much you were struggling with this. No, it's my fault. I never really told you. It's funny, though. I thought Sarens had taken Dad into the sea, but Sarens are actually so much. Yes? So much kinder than I could have been imagined. <gasps> Thanks you, miss. Signs are amazing. Hey, hey, you're welcome. If you ever get lonely, you just come back to the coast. I'll serve you Kringle, Kringle Bell Cracker, Chili Chips, Headplant, Scalp Tea, and Snow Roasted Green Tea. And when your stomach is full and you start to get sleepy, I'll stroke your head and loves you to sleep. You can't baby me like that. I'm gonna grow up fast so I can look after mom. Oh my, this is such a reliable young man. Well, it looks like nothing to worry about now. Nah. All right, so quest is done, guys. All right, I'm, at, I'm actually, I mean, I'm actually nice. It's actually nice that they went there, like where the dad does not come back. It's still pretty like generic that like, you know, kids growing up fast or whatever, but I'm happy for her first quest was nice. Her first quest was nice. Um, all right, so we are done with quest number one, guys. Thank you for being with me. If you would not mind, if you would hit the subscribe button, I would really appreciate it, guys. Other follow button, I would really appreciate it, guys. Just because I want this game to get more love. And uh, that being said, guys, I'll see you guys next time for more another Eden Pizza Cuz Part Two. Peace out.